another episode of Two on One with Michael, Mike and Mike. I'm your host, Michael Vetrano, along with my partner in crime, Michael Torriero. Our next guest is the runs and, and the founder of Team Alpha. That's Coach Ken Corcoran. How are you? How you doing, guys? How you doing, Mike? Good, good. It's great to have you. Um, we have a lot of things to talk about. We, we have about 10 or 12 minutes. First thing I want to talk to you about is give us a quick once over about you know when when your club was founded and i know that you've had incredible growth from the time you founded to where it's at today uh roughly about six years ago i went to a tournament with my younger daughter uh mckenna who we went to see jenna burkett uh over at hofstra wrestling the uh bill farrell uh, prior to the event we had a guy you know obviously jenna being a suffolk county girl I had many conversations with her thinking about starting a club. Uh, that day we met Jenna. Jenna went out of her way to come see my daughter. And from that day we were hooked. And about a month and a half later, Alpha was born. Coach, it's, uh, you know, that's a great segue. We're actually releasing uh, a show on, on Jenna Bur Burkett, you know, the pride of, of Suffolk County. Where, how, how, just for aura of magnitude, how many girls are currently in your club and kind of when, how many were started? I know you've grown a lot. Yeah, uh, first year we started with about 11. Um, from there, we almost doubled. We went to about 19, and from there, we were over 30. Uh, right before COVID and the shutdowns hit, we were, we were approaching over 50. Uh, we had some press on the Today Show. Uh, we had a couple of stories. Uh, our head coach, Amber Atkins, was a huge part of the club as well. I wrestled for Bayshore all through middle school and through high school. My dad was the coach of the high school team at the time. He would teach me the moves that he was teaching the boys and then they just kind of agreed to let me go for it. Um, at the time, there wasn't very many female competitors at all. Uh, she was the first high school coach of females in New York as far as um, over at Bayshore. So spawned from Alpha and the rest is history. So looking at some of these, uh, you know, we have Maddie D, Director of Research and Data, best in yep. the biz. Maddie behind the glass. Say. How Absolutely. are you, Maddie? He's, yep. he's behind the glass. He's, he's, he's putting some things out right now uh, in front of us, just talking about some of, um, you know, some of these accolades that, that are there. You know, since uh, women's competition began in 2002, juniors at cadet level started in 2011. New York has crowned 20 national champions in Fargo, that's 13 to junior uh, and seven to cadet. Uh, Nicole Darrow in 2004, uh, the first New Yorker to ever win uh, a Fargo title. Um, so talk about some of the results that you've had in Fargo and how that's affected you know, those girls, uh, the trajectory of you know, their families, uh, the confidence that, that it's brought them. You know, if you yeah. can select one, one, one thing to talk, one girl to talk about. Absolutely. Uh, right now, our only Fargo All-American um, Alpha is Katie Moore, uh, two-time yeah. Fargo All-American, first Long Island girl to ever receive a college scholarship. She's now wrestling at Life University. Uh, she was one of the first nine girls in Alpha, um, and she's been a absolute role model ever since for the girls in the club and the younger girls coming in. That's a fantastic role model. You know, you're a wrestling jump junkie like Mike and I. You're everywhere, right? I mean, you're probably yeah, yeah. three times where I am. You know, what what do you what do you see as the the current? You know, take COVID out of it. Where do you see what was kind of on the plan for this year and, and maybe next season? You know, obviously you've grown a lot. You have numbers. You guys are traveling more. Kind of what's on what's on on schedule for for Alpha? For Alpha, um, we have about 10, 12 girls that compete nationally. So. Uh, as the growth of wrestling happened, the same thing happened with Alpha as far as national travels. The first year, I took three girls to Texas, which used to be called Body Bar, World Cup Trials. Um, we did pretty good there. One of our young guns, who's going to be big on the scene this year, Alex Vieira, she was an All-American. And then I had my youngest, uh, McKenna, who was there. She did well at the tournament, won a match. Of course, the brackets are a little smaller, so we could call her an All-American, but they, uh, you know, she won a match there. And then, you know, every year we, same as Alpha grew, the girls going last year, the last time we went, I brought 14 girls to Texas. And I think we had five All-Americans and one national runner-up. So speaking of, you know, of um, 
you know, you mentioned that, uh, you know, you called her All-American. It's a small bracket. You know, I think that for those of us who, us who have wrestled, um, you know, for a long time, I just love the sport, you know, whether you win or lose, if you put four years in the, at the varsity level, that's a significant thing to have accomplished. Um, you can only win what you can win. So despite how many girls are there, you show Absolutely. up and, and, you know, that's more than ha half the battle. Um, with women's wrestling, what do you think that you need to see in your own area? What would you like to see um, being done in your area that would help um, Alpha grow, whether that's, you know, sponsors coming in to help your program or other programs growing up around you to be competitive so you can guys have dual meets within driving distance. What's, what are the yeah. one or two things in your area that you think should be done to have women's wrestling grow? Um, so far, Mike, I mean, as it's grown in popularity, as far as Suffolk County, as you know, being a former county champ, state champ from Suffolk, uh, we're a hotbed of quality wrestling. And it's starting to be the same for female wrestling as well. Like I said, the club grew to about 50. And now just recently, uh, Razor Girls Wrestling, uh, Ted T. Pasquale. Uh, I mean, you have some outstanding people behind the scenes getting this thing moving. Uh, the Darren Goldsteins, the Nick Garones, um, just to name a few, you know, those are big names in Suffolk County boys. And they are our biggest proponents. I often tell Mike, you know, Mike's one of our biggest supporters from day one. Every tournament we had, you know, our girls would have to compete against the boys and he'd be the first one there to congratulate us and tell us how great we're doing. And I appreciated that. And I tell him that every time I see him. Oh, we, so we, looking uh, go ahead, Mike. No, just Matty D is just, just mentioning one other thing, Mike, and I don't want to cut you off. I'm going to just mention this because Matty D is so quick with the data. He, and what he literally says is, is that, quote unquote, what I found is awesome, that alpha girls have been a tremendous bonding experience for Mr. Cochran and his daughters and the other girls. When he was wrestling in high school for East Iceland, it bothered him that his father wasn't able to attend many of his events due to his work obligations. You know, how much of a father figure role do you take for a, a lot of these, a lot of these girls? And what is the main difference you see between boys and girls wrestling? There is no difference. Uh, wrestling is wrestling. That's how we've, we approached it from day one. Um, and that's how, you know, we hope everybody sees it. You know, I often say, I, I've been quoted a couple of times, uh, once you get past the ponytails, you know, it's wrestling. You know, at, there's going to come a point where the ponytails aren't at it. And basically, we're there now. Well, you know, we, we agree, and I appreciate the kind words, but, you know, you're doing all the work, you know, you know, um, certainly, you know, you're growing and being successful. I want to just talk our final question. We're having Jackie Davis on today, tonight, actually. Well, I know you, you know. Yeah. So I'm, I, I'm going to pose the same question to you that I'm going to ask Jackie. What's your position on wrestling at the high school level for, for the girls' women's division? Do you feel like it should be folk style or freestyle? I'd love to get your opinion on that. My opinion is 100% freestyle. Okay. Yeah, we, we concur. We concur. Um, just to recap, Team Alpha, Coach Ken Corcoran, one of the hottest programs in New York, boys or girls, because like you said, it's wrestling, right? We super support you guys. Let us know what you can do to help, and we appreciate your time. Coach Thank Ken you, Corcoran, Alpha. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good luck. We're cheering from afar. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.